all right ladies and gentlemen how are you guys doing on this tuesday july 12th 2022 i want to thank you for joining me here tonight for another metallic episode of music of destruction bringing you the very best in metal related content right here on youtube on the only metal channel you need if you missed anything in the past while click the i bring down that menu everything you need to get caught up is there i have been a little bit sparse with videos over the past couple of weeks been busy with other things but i am coming back to youtube you guys will never see me disappear some videos may just be sparse throughout uh certain weeks or months but rest assured i will try to make this as consistent as possible remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything you're looking at one of the most upfront controversial opinionated and critical channels in the realm of metal if you don't like that don't fucking watch me welcome to album review tuesdays here on the channel tonight we're doing another member request we're going to be getting into a lot of these in the coming weeks i have like five that i have to get to this one comes to us from josh and he's asked me to review an absolute Brazilian thrash metal classic with Sepultura Beneath the Remains, recorded, or sorry, released in 1989 on Road Racer Records. Now, for those of you who may be living under a rock, Sepultura formed back in 1984. The band name comes from a Portuguese translation of Motorhead's song Dancing on Your Grave, which is Dançando na sua sepultura. I hope I said that right. I don't speak Portuguese. Sepultura literally means grave or sepulcre in Portuguese and in some other Latin-based languages. Now, originally, they wanted to call the band Trupe de Choc or Troops or Shock Troops. Sorry, Tropa de Choc, I believe is how you say that, or Shock Troops, but found that the name had already been used. Now, the first Sepultura show was on December the 4th of 1984 and the, bl the band played two songs that were never re-recorded or released. Now the lineup on Beneath the Remains is as follows, Max Cavalera vocals and rhythm guitars and lyrics. Then of course you have Igor Cavalera on drums and Andreas Kisser on lead guitars, bass as well as lyrics. The album opens up with Beneath the Remains which has some amazing clean guitar that is very somber and dark with some effects underneath that kind of resembles like a chanting, but it blows up into full thrash metal insanity with perfect accuracy, okay? Drums are like pounding jackhammers and the guitar work very fast, daunting, and powerful with Max's vocals absolutely on point here, very amazing. And the lyrics are very easy to decipher. This is an incredible, emotionally charged opener, and this is what Sepultura should have never strayed away from before the band begin to show its age and fall apart. But nevertheless, this is a killer opener, aggressive and very, very dark. Next up is Inner Self, and this one pounds out even more sonic aggression. I love the double bass work on this track a lot. The riffs are very powerful and executed with super intense aggression and emotionally charged poignancy as well. This is a bit more mid-tempo, but still heavy as hell. There's also a lot of awesome tempo changes here as well to keep things interesting and honest. And the faster double bass work comes in at just the right times to keep the track cohesive and very consistent. This is incredible work on behalf of the band and Max's vocals and lyrics are of course all about the downfall of society and the world and his aggression and hatred towards it and all the shit he sees around him day to day. This is a fucking awesome track. Great stuff. Next up, we have Stronger Than Hate, and this is a very triumphant thrash metal attack about not submitting to hatred and bitterness because life keeps on trying to take you down with all the bullshit that we go through daily on some level. Whether it's personal struggles, people around us, the globalists bent on world domination, or whatever it is, this is a song to remind us that we can prevail over anything, and the driving thrash metal aggression and powerful lyrics remind us of these things and not to submit to negativity or anything that you cannot think you can handle because you obviously can it's fast brutal aggressive and dominant and the spirit of persistence really shines through uh, on this one and lifts you out of whatever you might be finding yourself feeling that day with some great drum bass guitar and vocals 
very powerful and poignant. This is another great track. Next up, we have Mass Hypnosis, and holy shit, this is such a relevant song to what's going on in the world today. And of course, all throughout history, as the elites have been trying to rule the world with an iron fist of tyranny under the costume of so-called democracy, which is, of course, we know there is no democracy, but this is some very aggressive thrash metal with a huge middle finger of defiance right in the face of the so-called authoritarian figures and all of their dictates. Good luck with your plans, NWO. It's not going to fucking work. This track is one of my favorites on the album as well, but it's also one of the heaviest and the fastest. The drumming, very powerful, raw and convicted, but so is the bass, guitars, along with Max's incredible vocals and powerful thought-provoking messages all throughout the album. Let's check out some Sepultura here on Music of Destruction. Enjoy. And we're back, and yeah, man, this track is absolutely fucking killer. Now, next up, we have Sarcastic Existence, and this one is just pure fire. Sonic intensity that will continue to build and engulf everything in its past with pure, brutal, raw extremity and passion for its message. And everything they were going for on this track is, of course, fully intact here with some great guitar work and stellar drums that convey a very strong dissatisfaction with life and existence in general. But, of course, this is all provoked by our current fragment in, fragments in society. Instrumentation, of course, accentuates these emotions and concepts with needle-like precision. And the aggression, of course, very raw and venomous, just how Sepultura should be. In fact, I would say this is one of my favorite Sepultura albums uh, in my top three. If you watch my Sepultura albums ranked, I'm sure I gave this number three. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. And this track just breeds hostility and rage because, of course, Brazil was under a very strong dictatorship dictatorship for such a long time and I'm certain this was one of Max's main focal points for his writing along with the entire band this is an excellent track next up we have slaves of pain and this is just might be one of my favorites on the album there's so much raw intensity and aggression on this one that it blows my mind that this came out in 1989 yes death metal was fully beginning to take shape around this time but when it came to thrash metal sepultura were among the elites and to this day their early material is a staple of the genre it's got a raw dirty production that worked so well in this era and still does the track is mind-blowing and will have you headbanging like a lunatic the driving force of aggression and pounding out extreme emotions in the hopes of finding some sort of relief is omnipresent on this track and all throughout the album the lead guitar work on this track is excellent and absolutely legendary and max's vocals and guitar work legendary as well this is killer stuff 
Next up, we have Lobotomy, and man, does this one ever rip. I'm talking about face melting speed, aggression, power, and intensity. This is bombastic and so charged with authenticity and emotion that it really reminds you of why the 80s metal was so fucking great. Bands around this time were not concerned with anything but getting their message out to anyone who would care to listen. It was about expression and ideology and releasing their rage and anger, and this one does it in spades. The speed and aggression is fever pitch on this track with very little slowdown, but that could be said about the whole record. Uh, the brutality and the aggression take front stage on this one, of course, with Max's absolute immaculate guitar work leading the charge, as well as his unmistakable vocals and powerfully intelligent lyrics make for a deadly combination. This is an awesome track. Next up, we have Hungry and Well. Like the song title, this is exactly what we get. Hungering for blood, change, release, and an escape from the mundane life that we have all lived at some point. There's also some strong sense of power and the will to triumph over all adversity here, which is powerfully executed with sonic speeds throughout the riffing drum bass, Max's vocals and lyricism, obviously, which never cease to amaze, especially during these early years when the raw power of this track is absolutely astounding with cerebral and flat out intensity that will have you headbanging and pounding your fists in limitless aggression. The entire album should be played however without any interruptions to get the full experience because this is about the downfall of the powers that be and our victory is inevitable. This is great stuff. Closing out the album is Primitive Future and another thrash metal masterpiece here that ranks a among one of the best closers I've ever heard on a thrash metal album. Period. The intensity of this one matches the rest of the album, and there's absolutely no weak moments on this record at all. The song absolutely slays, and this entire album will leave you exhausted and triumphant from all the aggression and cathartic release that it invokes and draws out of you. This is absolutely incredible. The final verdict for Beneath the Remains from Sepultura is getting a 10 out of 10. Thank you, Joss, for requesting this one, folks. This is just one of the perks you get for joining the channel. All right, there you have it. Another album review in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new here, subscribe. Turn on that bell so you don't miss anything. Merchandise available. Links are in the description. Bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash music dash of dash destruction. Join the channel to become an MOD elite. Get perks like this one for $4.99 per month. Hit the join button. Get access to exclusive content, review requests, band interviews, and promotions if you have a band, and much more. Have an awesome night. We'll see you for Album Ranking Wednesdays. Cheers.